everybody, I'm Brian Julius. I'm the Chief Content Officer for Enterprise DNA. And I wanted to show you a, a brief trick today um, that's in response to a question we got at the Innovation Lab event last week. And somebody had asked in one of the sessions, what's a good source for background and theme files for your reports? And so if you're an Enterprise DNA member, we've got the, um, the showcase section, and there's dozens of great reports here that you can, you can use um, as the basis for your own reports. And so you have access as a member to download all the PBIX files. And what I want to show you today is the way you can disassemble a PBIX file to extract the theme in the background. And so what I've done is I've actually got a file on my desktop that Sam had used in his report, um, in, I'm sorry, in his presentation. Um, and it was this funnel IO demo. And the reason I like this one as a, as a demonstration is it uses a, a set of backgrounds that Mudasir Ali had designed that are just intended to be reusable and make for kind of a great quick report that, that looks great and is easy to just drop visuals into. So if you look at this, it's got, it's got backgrounds for cards and for tables and charts. And so we want to pull this out. And so there's no there's no direct way you can just save the background from a PBIX file. So I'm going to show you a trick, but before we do that, I want to show you how to pull the theme out. So if we go here to view, and then we say save current theme, what we can do is if we go to extracted files, we can call this um, SAM report theme. And it will save a copy of the theme with the the colors and the fonts and kind of all of his um, choices in terms of table configuration and um, visual defaults. So we've got we've got a copy of that now. So the next thing we want to do is extract the um, the this background file. So what we can do is we close this report, and <clears throat> here's the the PBX file and. We've got a copy of this, but if we didn't have a copy of it, if it was a file that we had developed ourselves um, instead of one that I downloaded from a, from an archive, um, we'd want to make a copy of this because this is not a, a sanctioned trick, and you'll see a warning here when I do it. So what we want to do is we want to go into this file and we want to change the extension from PBIX to zip, even though we haven't zipped the file. And we'll get this warning that the file may be unstable. I've never had a problem with it, but always good to be safe and use a backup. So we change that to zip. And now what happens is if we open the, we open the file, instead of it opening in Power BI, it's going to open in Explorer and we're going to see the structure, the internal structure of the Power BI file. And within that structure, there's a folder called report. And within the report folder, the static resources, and then if we go to registered resources, what you'll see is all the, the graphics files that were used to develop that report. So these, these small ones are the navigation icons, and the big ones are the, um, the background files. So let's take and copy these. We can ignore this JSON file, um, but let's, let's copy these five files. And let's go back to that extracted file folder. Here we go. And let's paste that in. Okay, so now if we fire up um, Power BI, let's do that. And now what we can do is we can we can start off by importing the the theme. So if we go to view and we say um, browse for themes and go back to the desktop and find that. Oh, there we go. Sam report theme opened right to it and the theme was successfully imported. And now all we need to do is go to our visualization properties to the canvas background and browse for the file 
and we'll see this one here, this first style file. And if we then say fit, that is going to give us, um, and let's, let's pull an icon in here. So we get rid of this, um, we get rid of this, um, default section. Um, so let's go insert and image. And let's pull this, this icon in. We can size that and move it. And you can pull that into a button. I'm just pulling it in as, as an image right now just to get rid of that, um, that original center template. And there you go. And so that is the way to, um, to pull a theme and a background out of any Power BI PBX file. Um, so I hope you found that helpful. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators. Uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.